Looking for the best Intel motherboard for the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060? The RTX 3060, a budget-friendly GPU from NVIDIA's past generation, still performs well for 1080p gaming and is preferred for video editing due to its 12GB VRAM. In this video, I've done an extensive review of the top Intel motherboards for the GeForce RTX 3060 and rated them according to VRM design, features, aesthetics, and value for money. Price information and all motherboards mentioned in the video are available in the description. So let's get started. Number 3. Gigabyte B760M DS3HAX DDR4 Best Budget Intel Motherboard to Pair with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 When building a PC on a tight budget, picking the right motherboard can be tough. You are most likely trying your best to save up as much as possible and start scraping the bottom of the barrel to just get your PC up and running. For this reason, most people choose H610 motherboards for a budget Intel PC build. However, in my experience building Intel-based PCs, I have noticed that H610 motherboards are a complete waste of money. They are extremely starved of features just to cut the cost down, and even then, they are asking a lot more than what they are worth. Almost every H610 motherboard is available between $80 and $100, and that to me is the equivalent of burning your money, because you can spend a little more than that and get an excellent B660 or B760 motherboard. There are several noteworthy B-series motherboards, but to me, the Gigabyte B760M DS3H AX DDR4 stood out above the rest and is my favorite pairing for the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 if you are on a budget. Let's first look at what Gigabyte has to offer and then move to the alternative to see what makes this motherboard so special. Starting off with the rear I.O., Gigabyte did an outstanding job considering the low price. It comes with five USB Type-A ports, two USB 2.0, and three USB 3.2 Gen 1, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port, a PS2 port, one HDMI 2.0 port, two DisplayPort 1.2 ports, Wi-Fi 6E, and Bluetooth 5.3. The board features the three standard audio jacks that come with every other board, but it does support 7.1 surround sound. The B760 MDS 3H AX DDR4 comes with a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, which is rare since budget boards usually never come with more than a 1 gigabyte port. Another feature on this board that almost every other manufacturer skips on their budget boards is that both of its M2 slots are PCIe 4.0. A delightful surprise is the inclusion of Q-Flash and CMOS clear buttons on the motherboard. I would have liked these to be included with the rear I.O. instead of the bottom of the board itself, however. Moving to the VRM, we have 6 plus 2 plus 1 phase design. This certainly is not impressive, but anything from a Core i7-13700 and under will have no issues running at its maximum potential if you choose to upgrade the CPU later. The situation around the $100 to $150 is rather weird because there are a lot of motherboards to choose from. For only around $110, the Gigabyte v 760 mds 3 h ax DDR4 offers everything that a decently priced motherboard should provide. For around $100, you could also go with the MSI Pro v 760 mp DDR4, which is the cheapest option available that has a high-quality PCB. But compared to the Gigabyte B760M DS3H AX DDR4, it is barren. The rear I.O. on this board is poor. It does not offer Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and the VRMs do not come with any shielding. For a bit more, at around $130, ASRock B760M Pro RS stands out as a solid option. But it is a DDR5 motherboard, which will bring the cost up overall compared to the Gigabyte B760M DS3H AX DDR4. The AS Rock B760M Pro RSD4 supports DDR4, but costs around $150, making it more expensive than its DDR5 counterpart. So when it comes to value for money, the B760M DS3H AX DDR4 is still a winner. At the end of the day, the Gigabyte B760M DS3H AX DDR4 taught its competition and manages to strike a perfect balance by giving us everything that we need for a bargain price. The back of the board is a connectivity party with plenty of USB ports, even a speedy USB-C, HDMI, DisplayPort, Wi-Fi 6E, and Bluetooth 5.3. It even breaks the norm with a speedy 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, both M2 slots being PCIe 4.0, CMOS clear, 
and Q flash buttons. The board's power delivery system is beefed up for the price, meaning smooth sailing for most CPUs, making the B760M DS3H AX DDR4 an obvious wallet friendly winner for budget PC builders looking for the perfect budget motherboard to pair their RTX 3060 with. Number 2 AS Rock Z790 Lightning Wi Fi Best Premium Intel Motherboard to Pair with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060. The AS Rock Z790 Lightning Wi Fi is a simple board that ticks almost every box. It's a no frills motherboard focused purely on stability and performance without breaking the bank. This motherboard is a proper upgrade over the AS Rock Phantom Gaming Z790 Lightning Wi Fi. The newer Z790 Lightning Wi-Fi has a 16-phase VRM design instead of 14 phases on the older version. Also, it has built-in Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3 support, which the name obviously implies. With a 16-phase VRM, even under a full-load all-core stress test at 5.5 GHz with a Core i9-14900K, the VRMs barely even hit 60 degrees Celsius. For the I.O., there is the USB 3.2 Gen 2 x 2 Type-C port, two 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A ports, four USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A, and one USB 2.0 Type-A port. There are three audio jacks with 7.1 surround sound. We also have a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, Wi-Fi 6E, and Bluetooth 5.3 support, and an HDMI 2.1 port. Sadly, there is no CMOS clear button or BIOS flash button, which is a shame as this board's I.O. is otherwise excellent. The best way to describe the design is that it's neat and tidy. AS Rock has done a great job laying out the board nicely with ample room between PCIe slots. On the top, there is a single PCIe 4.0 M2 slot, and right underneath it is a PCIe 5.0 times 16 slot for the graphics card. The rest of the PC slots are perfectly spaced apart from one another. When it comes to the competition, the slightly older Asus Tough Z790 Gaming Plus and the MSI Z790 Gaming Pro Wi-Fi are neck and neck with the AS Rock Z790 Lightning Wi-Fi. However, the VRM heatsinks on the AS Rock Z790 Lightning Wi-Fi are some of the best I have ever seen on any motherboard. The Asus Tough is still an excellent board with its 16-phase VRM but it is getting more expensive day by day over both the MSI and AS Rock. Meanwhile, the MSI Z790 Pro Gaming Wi-Fi is a stellar alternative, but with a 14-phase VRM configuration. To summarize everything, if you need an Intel motherboard that fits the criteria for offering the most stability and features to pair with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060, then the AS Rock Z790 Lightning Wi-Fi covers a lot of ground, and on top of that, its strong 16-phase VRM lets it handle any CPU, even if it's overclocked to the absolute limit without breaking a sweat. Number 1. MSI B760 Gaming Plus Wi-Fi – Our Top Choice MSI B760 Gaming Plus Wi-Fi is something like a Swiss army knife in the world of motherboards. Since, while MSI targets this board towards gamers, its nature is more like a budget workstation motherboard. Starting with the VRMs, MSI has done an excellent job. The motherboard has strong VRMs capable of powering Intel 12th to 14th gen CPUs effortlessly. With a 12-phase setup at 60 amp, it can handle even an Intel Core i9-14900K at stock settings. If it weren't a B760 motherboard, I would have comfortably overclocked an i5-14600K beyond 5.3 GHz thanks to the beefy VRM. The strong VRM is coupled with an excellent heatsink that keeps temperatures below 70 degrees Celsius even under heavy all-core loads. The rear I.O. is excellent, but I feel there could be some improvements. There are a total of 7 USB ports at the back, with four of them being USB 2.0 Type-A ports, which means you won't have to sacrifice faster ports to run peripherals. But then there are just three USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, of which two are Type-A and one is a Type-C port. MSI should have added more USB 3.2 ports, but even with that out of the way, the rest of the I.O. is near perfect. You get HDMI 2.1, DisplayPort 1.4, Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, 2.5 gigabit Ether LAN, and even a PS2 port for legacy devices.
The rear I.O. also has a set of five audio jacks with an optical SPDIF connected to a mid-range Realtek ALC897 codec for good quality sound. When it comes to the design, the board has a premium look and feel, but the design itself is quite simple. Personally, I like the design because the simple look helps the motherboard fit in any PC without bringing any attention to itself. If you're a fan of RGB, you can always use the RGB headers to connect as many lights as you'd like. When it comes to the competition, there are plenty of great options to choose from when looking for an affordable motherboard to pair with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060. The best alternative is probably the Gigabyte B760 Aorus Elite AX, as it offers very similar features to the MSI B760 Gaming Plus Wi-Fi. The Aorus Elite AX also has a 12-phase VRM and a couple more USB 3 Type-A ports. But the B760 Gaming Plus Wi-Fi has five audio jacks with SPDIF instead of the Aorus Elite that has two jacks with SPDIF. Except for that, while the Aorus Elite has two more M2 slots, it costs much more than the MSI Gaming Plus Wi-Fi. At that point, it makes more sense to invest in a budget Z790 board instead of a high-end B760 board. In conclusion, the MSI B760 Gaming Plus Wi-Fi wins over all B760 boards in terms of value. You get powerful VRM, plenty of PCIe expansion, and a great I.O. to cover all your needs. It is reliable and a very easy motherboard to recommend to anyone who wants to build a powerful Intel Alder Lake or Raptor Lake PC with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 on a budget.